Alrighty, this is Gray Wilfall with Graystone Enterprises. We're here at the lab and we're going to run through the installation and adjustment of this seatbelt signature. All we have is this module right here that we attach temporarily to our seatbelt uh, latch on the opposite side of the, uh, the release. We want to make sure that the sensor is pushed all the way down and we want to make sure that we're centered, hold in place and secure with a piece of tape. And that's what I've got right here. Alrighty, next, we're going to adjust this sensor so that it ignores any metal inside this housing and only leaves the additional mass of the seat belt tab coming in. So it reads this initial mass. Okay. Clamp. So I can work with it here. Okay, you can use a conventional, in order to set this up, you can use a conventional multimeter with the, with these little, little tiny socket, little pin adapters with little sockets for the pins to go into. Okay. This cable is outfitted with an M8 five pin connector. And on this connector, the pins we want to get on, this is like a rounded, a rounded connector with a V at the bottom. Okay, we want the two pins to the left. We don't want the pin in the middle bottom of the V. We want the two pins to the left of that as we look at the face of this pin connector. One, two. So we're going to take our multimeter probes, our little sockets. And we are going to put these on there. And that is one way that we can read the status of our connector as we adjust it. But I have another way. I built myself up a little test box. It's a little test box with an M8 connector. And it is wired so it has a little LED indicator. So all I have to do is plug in the seat belt connector just like you would to any type of gateway or unit, the Pro 400, WaySmart 850, and then this LED will light once we're closed. So I'm going to set this up here where we can see it. Okay. All right. Now we can start adjusting our our sensor. Our adjustment screw is right here at the bottom of the connector, just beside the place where the cable comes in. And when they're set up, they are set where, when they leave here, they're set all the way to one end of the spectrum. They're set at the lowest sensitivity possible. Okay, so but we're going to start upping that sensitivity. Before we do that, let's plug in this seatbelt tab. All right, now we're going to start turning this screw counterclockwise. Make sure to pull your screwdriver away occasionally in case you got some magnetism to your screwdriver. And we're going to keep up in the sensitivity, turning counterclockwise or rotating the screw outward as if you were trying to unscrew it. Just came on. Okay, we're gonna want to take at 
least a couple of good turns. Okay. All right, let's test and see what we've got. Okay, LED extinguishes. Okay, we see it. Okay. Now try try to test it to keep this as far away from the sensor as possible. Okay, see right there. So we need to take and make it a little more sensitive. Once again, you see how the screwdriver affects it. Another turn or so. Okay. Try to keep the buckle as far back as possible. Make sure the sensor sees it. Test. Test. Wiggle it around. Make sure that it switches smoothly. Okay. Now, in the event that you get it adjusted too far, I'm going to over adjust this. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to make it too sensitive. And I'm going to ramp this up a bit. Let's see what I've got. It's probably still registering really well. Nope, see? It went too far. Now that happens, you think you've gone too far. Let me go a little further and see what we do, see if we can get something going here. Okay. We're about maxed out there. There must not be enough metal in this seat belt. But anytime you get it where you get an LED indication with the tab removed, that tells you that you need to screw this screw back in some. Okay, so we're going to screw this screw back in some. And we're going to take it down quite a bit. So anytime you get out of range, you can always go back to the start. Just screw this in. Okay, let's see how we're coming. Okay, see, we're not seeing our tab. Oh, we are seeing our tab, but we're not seeing it very close. So our tab right on top. So we still need to be a little more sensitive. So we're gonna, we're gonna now make it more sensitive. We're gonna screw this screw back out counterclockwise. Okay, see where we're at. Okay, keep it far away as you can. So that's how we adjust the sensor and what to do if we get a little too far or we think we've gone too far, just back back down, back that screw back out, or excuse me, screw that screw back in to lower the sensitivity and then bring it back up until you get back within your range and you're switching good. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and apply your heat shrink. want to and take this tape off. If you get used to installing, you can almost do it by hand. You don't even need the tape. You just hold the sensor, adjust it, and then throw on your heat shrink. But I like taking the tape off so it doesn't leave sticky residue. Slide this down to where it's nice. Heat shrink that on down. Okay, once you heat shrink it, double check. Make sure that you're switching good, and then go check your gateway, your unit, your Pro 400, and make sure your seatbelt signal is toggling properly. And that's all there is to this installation.